Joey Connaughton into space. Tony McManus trying to contain the pass. Laying well inside for his teammate Tommy Lennon. An opening chance brilliantly created by Tony McManus. Cork grouping well, however. Disciplined in defence. And something of a let off in the opening minute. Well, there was a real scoring chance there, surely, for Roscommon. Cullity. Shea Fahey, again coming out of his full forward position, laid in for Paddy Hayes, this is Larry Tompkins. 14 metres out, brilliant save by Paul Stolted. A cracking shot by Larry Tompkins, Cork's first attack, but the goalkeeper, Paul Staunton, was more than a match for it. Brilliantly taken by Paul Early, transferred down to Seamus Caloran. Cut out, however, by Tony Nation. Potted forward by Tommy Lennon to Tony McManus. A good ball by Tony McManus and a superb goal. But the referee has cancelled it out. No goals as the referee. He took too many steps. The goal doesn't count, but a lovely piece of individual skill. Did he take more than four steps? The lost common fans, you can be sure, will not agree. Larry Tompkins, who can always be depended upon. He's got a second point in the match, and Cork are back in front once again in what's proving to be a very hard-fought All-Ireland semi-final. By no way the one-way traffic people were predicting. Such a good kick out once again. Shea Fahey. Slocum. Paul McGrath. Taking Gary Wynn completely out of it. Slocum once again up with the attack. He may have missed one a little bit earlier. I mean, dropped it slack, but he's got one on this occasion. And Cork open up a two-point gap. Well, he really is a very pacey half-back, Mick Slocum. needed to flick outside to Paddy Hayes in his stride he's put it over the bar Cork now beginning to play with a bit more expression this was flicked outside brilliantly by Paul McGrath to Paddy Hayes where he was out of football for over a season with a nasty knee injury and he's made a very good recovery Vincent Glennon, Seamus Caloran, on to Glennon once again, again it's menacing, Tony McManus is available, he doesn't give it to him, goes for the point, and it's seven points to six. against Shea Fahey, Fahey does well, holds it with the left hand, then manages to take it with both hands up towards Danny Cullity. Cullity trying to break loose, Roscommon funneling back quickly. The support outside, driven high and driven over the bar, and it's substitute Michael McCarthy who gets his first point since coming into the match. A goal scorer in the Munster final, he's opened up a two-point gap. Davis against Vincent Glennon. Glennon does well. He's got support outside. Instead carrying it forward inside himself. Good penetrating run, but he must deliver that final pass. Cork in something of a dizzy. Leaving Glennon in. And he has missed a really good opening, which he has created himself. A curious run, really, by Glennon. Way out on the right-hand side it started. Joey Connaughton. 
Well, Ross Common side looking for their first point of the second half, and they've got another opportunity with Connaughton going forward, kicking, and he's put it over the bar. It's a brilliant point by the wing back Joey Connaughton. What Michael Slocum can do for Cork, Connaughton can do for Ross Common, eight points to seven. But the amount of space that Connaughton was afforded will concern the Cork mentors, I'm sure. This is Paul McGrath, incisively going forward, but going wide, being taken out wide by Des Newton. Not a good ball inside, but it's back by Dave Barry to McCarthy. Oh, brilliantly over the bar. Watch, it wasn't the best of plays by Paul McGrath. He half hit his shot. It got in loose. Watch for the run by Dave Barry, the little flick back. The defence were tightly marking, but McCarthy was left loose for once yet again. Boric McNeil is uh, being taken off the Roscommon team and Matthew Riley has just been given the little slip of paper. That's McNeil off. Meanwhile, in this non-stop action semi-final, Cork leading by two points, Shea Fahey. Paul McGrath holding on with some difficulty. A high restraining challenge by Tommy Lennon. An advantage allowed by Damian Campbell, the referee. Up towards Callum O'Neill. The support play again, brilliantly executed, into Paul McGrath. Deftly struck. I think he was going for the top left-hand corner, quite honestly. He had a point for the taking, surely, and I think he was going for a goal here. Michael McCarthy, in fairness, was coming in across on the far side in a kind of top-of-the-left position. McGrath, who started it, finished it. Yes, I think he was trying to flick that one up in over the goalkeeper's head. Davis going by Vincent Glennon a driving run forward Larry Tompkins into space towards Michael McCarthy he's made a marvellous difference since coming in direct play, direct route to goal and he's now got three points That's Michael Donlan, a sub coming in for Ross Common. And Seamus Caloran, no, not Seamus Caloran, he's gone across towards the far side. Is he being taken off? It is indeed. Strangely, Seamus Caloran has gone. He may have picked up an injury. Seems to be feeling the right shoulder. Meanwhile, it's Michael Donlan. Straight into the action. Tommy Lennon. Back to Donlan. Kicking the point. His first piece of the action, and Michael Donlan has cut the leeway to just two points. Michael Donlan's a very mobile performer. Might well have felt a bit unlucky to have been left out of the Connacht final selection in the first place, but he's here and he's making an impact. Shea Fahey is beaten in the air and it's Paul Early who's set up once again by a punch forward from Tom Graham and there's just a point between the teams Paul Early, his first score the smile on the face 10 points to 9 15 and a half minutes into the second half it's anyone's semi-final well full credit to Roscommon Cork had begun to look so menacing with Michael McCarthy in particular in shooting form at the other end but Paul Early, the team captain, is leading by example. A splendid kick. Full of honest endeavour. Danny Callity. Point to sell a dummy there on Paul Early. In towards Paul McGrath. Back, belted, and it's Tony Davis who sees that one come off the goalkeeper's fingers and it may have come off the crossbar as well. Terrific contest. Shea Fahey. Colm O'Neill. Two points from the first half is Tally. Down off the outside of the post and wide. 
This was that incident once again where Tony Davis was in there to take the pass, fed back to him by Paul McGrath, off the crossbar, yes. Tony Nation taking the sideline ball. He has switched, by the way, with Tony Davis, who's now back in the court full back line. Meanwhile, it's Paul McGrath in the court forward line. Paddy Hayes calling for it. But McGrath has the confidence to take it onto his trusty right boot and put over his second point of the match and open up a two-point gap once again. Poor kick out. Sets up the Roscommon defence in some trouble once again. Matty Riley there conceding the free for the push on Paddy Hayes. And many of them, I'm afraid, have come from the goalkeeper's kickouts. Larry Tompkins, the free taker, just outside the 20 metre line. Remember, it's Cork 11, Roscommon 9. Larry kicks his third point of the match in the 19th minute of the second half. Well, the United Nations seem to be supporting Cork as always. Danny Cullity, of course, comes from America and spent most of his uh, youth and teenage years in uh, California. Nine points for Roscommon, 12 for Cork. 22 minutes into the second half. Tony McManus winning the free, and always right beside him is Stephen O'Brien. Into the unmarked Vincent Glennon. The lob effort by Glennon has produced another point, a second, and it's a two-point game once again. John Cleary has just been introduced into the Cork team in place of Paddy Hayes. Cunahan, even though he was tightly marked, made it his against Michael Donlan. It's Colm O'Neill, Frank Cogan you see in the background there, urging his side on. Still O'Neill. Swept in beautifully to Paul McGrath. This may well, it doesn't. It might well have been the game's first goal, but it was a brilliant piece of interception. A really good-looking move, this. Paul McGrath, the one who had got in, but it was brilliantly intercepted and played away, I think, by Paul Hickey. Roscommon having to realise that they're still very much in there. With a real good chance. No goals in the game so far. Paul Early fisting it on, and that was very nearly being the first legitimate one, as it were. Wasn't too much in that. He took a big leap in the air. Paul Early going in, connecting with the fist. And that's Matthew Riley, superb since he came in for Roscommon at centre half back. Junior McManus down towards Tommy Lennon. Tony Davis. Kahalan. On the trusty left foot. Up from Colm O'Neill, holds it well, supports inside for Michael McCarthy, he has the pace but he's taken down, fouled, and it's going to be a free from the 20 metre line. Larry Tompkins with the kick, he's got another one, four points for Larry Tompkins, and Cork now open up a three-point lead.